this is I'm down, guys. If you've been wondering what I'm down is, it's two guys having conversations, sometimes very argumentative, sometimes very informative, most of the time very stupid. The idea is simple though. We believe communication leads to transformation, and transformation leads to fulfillment, right? Whatever that means for you. Find success in the small things. Find joy in the small things. You don't have to be successful to be happy or be joyful. You just have to be joyful first so that when the success comes, that, that doesn't define who you are. All right? We want to develop people, not develop things. All right? Things come and go, but people, those, if you can impact people, then you can really make a change that matters. Right? So, Lewis, you know what? <laughs> if you're watching this right now, I want you to know something. Um, I understand that you're a hardworking guy, and I understand that you know you out there doing your thing. So we're gonna start this shit without you, all right? And hopefully, you pop in the room randomly, and we can actually get the discussion going on what we, I guess, quote unquote, wanted to do today. Um, I think we're good here. So look, man, we're we're talking earlier about um. Like, I guess, more material things and, like, the, the chase and identity and yeah. shit, right? So, I, I guess we could um, get into this. Because, you know, thinking about a lot of this stuff, bro, um, you know, when you're chasing, like, material things, right? So, like, in other words, when you go to get what you want, mm -hmm. right? Um, whether that's a watch, a car, a house, I think you lost, right? And I'm going to tell you why. So, we're so caught up on this idea of materialism and things and i think that that concept is kind of starting to get washed out to people people are trying to be like okay whatever i've heard this enough okay whatever let's let's skip through this you know because you got people here and there talking about the whole concept of like you know you should have a goal right or set you know mm -hmm. some type of monetary standards so that you know you could elevate yourself and mm -hmm. reach it but you know at the same time bro like you know a lot of people are really losing themselves losing sight of what at the, at the end of the day what you were, what we're talking about what's going to make them happy when you're constantly chasing you know the, the stuff yeah. that doesn't really matter yeah, of course. you know what i mean so when you know you kind of stop to think about a lot of these things you kind of have to like really really just take a moment to think about okay so your life right the entire premise of your life is it going to be based on just racking up these things mm -hmm. like racking up chains, racking up watches, racking up cars, racking up houses is that what's gonna cause you to be happy? Or are you actually focused on the things that are actually making yeah, you happy? Yeah. Like maybe your friends make you happy, maybe your family makes you happy, maybe whatever your job makes you happy. Are you focusing on the things that actually make you happy, or are you focusing on the shit that isn't mm -hmm. making you happy? You know what I mean, yeah. what's that causing into your life psych psychologically? Like, what, what is that causing? What is that like, you know? Mm -hmm. I remember again, what you put into this world is what you get out. What is that like doing? Yeah, for to you? you. Yeah. Right? Um, I mean, it's. I think you had a valid point in the sense that a lot of us just want physical or material stuff. Um, when those things are, are, you know, momentary, like, they're going to be here today, they'll be gone tomorrow. So we got to be mindful of, you know, the things that do matter, which are. And I'm about to break it down to simple to you. The things that do matter in this world are the people. Uh -huh. Like, those are the, the things that matter. Those are the things that will make your life better or worse. Because you can be successful and have it all and have nobody to spend it with. Yeah. But yet, you can be poor, quote unquote, and have a beautiful family. Uh -huh. Right? Um, people are the ones that allow you to see the better in yourself and the better in them. You know, people are the ones that give you a reason to wake up in the morning, a reason to, to fight for something. You know, we hear all the time when parents were like, I was lost. Until I had, you know, my son, my daughter, and then they found purpose, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's people. People make life better. And a lot of times we treat people like the material, and we treat the material like the people. Mm -hmm. Right? We value more the car, the house, the job, the status, the following, rather than the people, the friends, the family, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, there, there's a saying that says, you know, there's friends that are closer than family, yeah. right? Those are the kind of things you got to cherish in life because those... If there's a friend that you really consider closer than your family, then that friend is, value, is more valuable to you than any car you could ever have. 
Yeah. You know, value that relationship, you know, invest in those kind of things. Because when it's all said and done, those people were there for you before you had anything anyways. Uh -huh. And they will be there for you when you have it all or when you don't ever get it all. Exactly. Right? So I, I think a lot of times we find ourselves, you know, especially as young people chasing vanity. And I don't blame us because we get carried away by what we can see. Yeah. But and, and the problem with that is that one day we might not get what we want. Or the worst thing that can happen is we do get what we want. And we lost what was really valuable by getting what we thought we wanted. Yeah. You know, that's the worst scariest thing for me. Yeah. Scariest thing for me is ever being successful and realizing that I failed. Yeah, yeah. You know, I once heard a saying that says, you know, I used to be scared of failing. Now I'm, I'm scared of being good at things that don't matter. Mm, because you're so focused because on the stuff that doesn't matter. Because you thought that that was success. Right, and then right, you right. realize... Yeah, this wasn't like, it. Like, you don't care. Yeah, right, this right. wasn't it. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I think we got to be careful yeah. with that. You know, um, I was watching this interview, like, it was a 2015 Breakfast Club interview of Dame Dash, right? And he talks about, like, you know, whenever he feels like, you know, he's he's questioning, like, some of his actions, some of his, like, decisions, he always goes back to his OGs, right? Like, the people that he grew up with. Like, mm -hmm. you know, he, he asks them, like, yo, what do you guys think? Like, or he thinks to himself, like, yo, will my, will my friends laugh mm -hmm. at me for doing this type of stuff? Or would they be like, yo, like, what are you doing, right? Yeah, yeah. Because for him, it, it matters more to be honorable, right? To be, like, mm -hmm. you know, respected. And like you said, it, it's, it's very true. Like, you know, the, the people in your life is what matter, right? Like, so, for example, if I'm trying to do something that compromises, you know, where I came from, who I am, you know, to the point where you're looking at me like, yo, like, like, what are you doing? Yeah. You get me? I have to really pay attention to that. You get me? Because, like, you know, like, we came up, you know, at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, in the same place yeah. or similar places. And it's like, yo, are you really going to compromise who, who you, you are, are? For what you want. You exactly. Know? For the things that you think are going to yeah. make you mm -hmm. happy. You know what I mean? And, you know, at the end of the day, I think that we kind of um, almost try to, like, appeal more to the people that have nothing to do with us than the people who mm -hmm. have to yeah, do with yeah, us. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like... You're trying to get that car, you're trying to get those chains, you're trying to get this gear, whatever, to impress people that you don't even know, mm -hmm. you get me? And you almost forget yeah, more yeah. about the people that you do know, you get me? Those people that, like, actually, mm -hmm. like, have love for you, yeah, actually exactly. have feelings yeah. for you, you know, you kind of just put them to the side, like, okay, whatever, you get me? I'm going to focus on trying to impress other people yeah. that I don't know, you know? And that, that's kind of what I want to get to, like, it's just, you know... A lot of people are living their life on the premise of what other people think. You yeah. know what I mean? They literally live their lives based on... So, for example, you might be a person who your parents and, and your entire family, you know that they're going to look down on you if you don't finish college. But to you, you know that college isn't for you mm -hmm. and you fucking hate it, right? Or, let's flip it, right? You could be the other way around. You know that your family is going to look down on you and... You literally don't even give a fuck, like what, because yeah. you know, like it's gonna, it's your mm -hmm. life, and it's what matters. It's two sides of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. Like some people are gonna go ahead, finish college, and do all these, you know, whatever great mm -hmm. things or whatever. But it's not gonna be for them. It's gonna be for the family mm -hmm. to make their mom proud, to yeah. make their dad proud. There's other people who are like, yo, I'm trying to make myself happy, right? Yeah. So I'm, I don't think it's about finding a balance in that, in that sense. You know what I mean, it's about finding you. Yeah, it's about finding your truth, your your reality in that. You know? Exactly. It's about. Because I think that parents mean the best for you. you know? yeah, like, I think yeah. Parents want the best for you. So a lot of times, especially like, you know, when you're an immigrant parent, you know, you knew that, you know, coming to this country was a struggle. I had to do this. Mm -hmm. I had to do that just so you could have a better life. Yeah, you yeah. got better opportunities than I could. So I want you to be better than me. Mm -hmm. And the thing with parents is that that being better than me means money. You making more money yeah, than course. I make. Yeah. You know I mean? You having a better mm -hmm. lifestyle than I had. So, you know, those things I think kind of get washed off because when you're only pursuing... Oh, I need to get a better car. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to have a better house. I need to live in a in a better neighborhood. You lose yourself. You know what I mean? And you kind of you kind of look up after you've grinded yeah. for so long. You finally look up. It's like okay, yeah. So I made my parents proud. I've made whoever else I needed to make proud. But I'm not happy. Yeah, exactly. Like, what about what yeah. about me now? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like I hate this job. Mm -hmm. I hate what I'm doing. You yeah. know, I hate waking up in the morning. I love Fridays because. It tells me the, the last mm -hmm. day of the, the week. Work, yeah. I love weekends, but I hate Sundays mm -hmm. because now I know I have to go, go back, back to work, work yeah. on Monday. That's not... You get what I'm saying? Yeah, say that? that's not life. That's not life. And, and, I, and I think, I mean, you had a good point in the sense of, like, there is no balance in trying to please people because I'm not saying what I'm saying. What I'm saying is learn to appreciate the people, but you don't have to please them, you know? Yeah. There's some things in you that because you're wired a certain way that doesn't make sense to anybody outside of you. Right. Right, and, and one thing is that you gotta understand the people that love you want to see the best for you. They don't always know what is best for you though. So you just gotta understand, you know, that they want the best for me, but yeah. I can differ without disregarding. 
Right, right, right. right? I don't have to say, no, you don't know. No, no. It's just, mm-hmm. hey, look, this is what I think is best for me now. Because at the end, they, if they want you to succeed, if you don't succeed the way they expect it, but you succeeded, they're still going to be happy. Yeah. You get exactly, me? Exactly. So that happens with parents all the time. You know, my parents had an idea for me of how I, my life should be. Yeah. And clearly, I chose a lot of different decisions that they would have chose for me. Yeah. But yet, when they look down the road, they're like, I'm st- we're still proud of you because you did your own story. You wrote your own story, you know? Right, right. And I'm young, so we're still writing our own stories. But the same thing, anybody who loves you wants you to succeed, wants you to excel. Yeah. Right? And, and so they give you that room for growth, understanding that what they expect for you is not what you want for you. Yeah. Right? And I, and I think that those people, the people that let you do you, but also are there for you when you land on your face, those are the kind of people that you don't ever throw away. Exactly. You know? You always go back to them for wisdom and advice. You always mm-hmm. go for counsel. Right? It's a saying that says, there's wisdom in the counsel of many people. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Because a lot of opinions, you can finally get a, like a more rounded view of everything. Right, right. Right? And I, but at the end, it has to be you. It's right. still your story, but just make sure you don't. In chasing your story, you forget about everybody else that matter to you too. Right. You know. Right. So no. that's my thing too, with people. No, and that's true. That you know that that's very important too. Like yo, you know, um, and, and going back to what I was saying, like you know, we we spend too much time trying to impress people that we don't even know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We spend too much time to impress people on social media, people that we don't know. You know what exactly. I mean? And we, like you said, we forget about the people that are actually there, like supporting. Mm-hmm. You, you know what I mean? Like all those people, it, it's good to get their opinions on things. You get know I me? Mean? And it's good to value them, mo- mo- most importantly, mm-hmm. because it's like, yo, those are the people that are supporting yeah, yeah. you, you get me? Like, yo, whenever you're out on your own and you're trying to do something that's like for you, mm-hmm. you get me? So, for example, like, maybe you're trying to start a podcast, maybe you're trying to start a YouTube channel on fashion, on mm-hmm. shoes, on uh, makeup, on TV shows, on movies, whatever, you get me? Whatever it is that you're trying to do, you know, there's going to be times where you feel down, you get me? There's going to be times, you know, that's your support system. Yep. There's going to be times where you want to give up, and then your support system is going to be like, yo, yep. listen, don't stop, mm-hmm. you get me? Don't stop. And of course, you should be like your first line of, of yeah. motive, but a lot of times we get down. Yeah, like, we need not, somebody outside. Exactly. Like, you know, we're not always like the strongest. Like, mm-hmm. you know, we're not always like the... There's sometimes that it takes other people around us to see things in us. You yep. know what I mean? To be yep. like, yo, like, I see you doing, you know, like, yo, you've been liking this, you got to do it. You yeah, know what yeah. Mean? Like, you know you're mean? good at this. You may not like it, but you're good at it, so do it. Exactly. So, you know, just try, you know, yeah. and, and that, that kind of goes, goes down to like what we always say, like... You know, whenever you're pondering something or you feel something, like you should be doing something, like you need to do it. Yeah. You got me? Like you have to do it. The last thing you ever want to do is, you know, live on regret. You know, I was talking to my mom. I was saying you like, yo, I feel like older people, especially older generation people, have this thing about crushing dreams. You got me? Like they kind of like, you may come as a young person and have like this dream about what you want to mm-hmm. do. And they're going to be like. Nah, you know, honestly, I, I just don't think you should do that. I think you should go to school. Yeah, yeah. And I think that you should do this, you know. And then, you know, after you do that, if you want to still, like, do that, then, then you should do it. You know what I mean? Me, personally, I have another way around because, again, like, yo, school is always going to be there. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. just like you're saying, like, you may say, oh, but that dream is always going to be there. That opportunity is always going to mm-hmm. be there. Just do school now yeah, then, yeah. you know. Yo, everybody has a different path, mm-hmm. you know. You, you had two degrees by the time, what, 23? Yeah. 23 years old, yeah, two degrees. Yo, Nobody that yeah, I don't, nobody that hang around even has a degree. Only you do, technically speaking. Like honestly, you know what I mean? And that's the path that you chose to take, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's what makes and that's what you like, that's what makes you happy. You know what I mean? Like you know like you're a good student, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Maybe you know that like, you like school, you like that kind of yeah. challenge. But that's not the path for yeah, everybody course, else. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's other people need to take a different path. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The things that everybody likes to take the path of like, you know, okay, everybody's doing yeah. this. So I should be doing this too because and it's really, yeah, Exactly. And I realized that the, the last part you said is a peak. That a lot of older generations is because that was the mode. If you don't have a degree a couple of years ago, you are nobody. But unfortunately, nowadays we know that if you have a bachelor's degree, you're still nobody. Yeah. Nowadays, like if you want to go the educational route, you need at least a master's degree. But we also see that because of the impact of social media and technology, and you know you can be richer just graduating high school having a big following or being a successful athlete or a big rapper or Mm -hmm. a comedian you can be richer than somebody who has a a ba or a a doctor's or a phd Mm -hmm. right because of the world we live in and so our parents a lot of times have having adjusted to the idea that there is success in different ways in this specific country at least right because in other countries yes a lot of you know Minorities have to excel academically to have a chance. They have to excel academically yeah. because you no, know, the way our worlds are made. But in this country, you can be successful just from being funny. 
It's 2019. Yeah, you know? And, and so I, I understand that side where it's like, no, no, look, whatever you want to do, that's cool. But first have a degree as a backup, mm-hmm. right? I can understand that. And I can sympathize with that. You know, it's always going to give you at least a, a, a foot in the door kind of thing. Yeah. But, you know, don't feel like you have to compromise your dreams mm-hmm. for the sake of somebody else's desires. You know? Exactly. I mean, and, and like you said, like, I, th- I think that's very important. Like, I understand, like, if you, if you say, you know, I'm going to get a degree for backup, I understand. You get me? Like, I, I, I do. I, I get where you're coming from. The thing is, like, you, like you're saying, like, don't compromise your dream. Don't compromise what it is that you want to do in this life. Because the thing is that people, we, I feel like we rely too much on that, on that concept of, like, like it's like this, it's like this weird written down thing where it's like, okay, like, I'm going to live, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to get a mortgage. I'm going to pay it off, I'm going to get a family, and I'm going to die, and I'm going to mm-hmm. leave it to them, right? Yeah. It's like this weird concept, like, and everybody's, like, one of the Yeah, it's like that. a complacency, like, we're complacent with that idea. Right, which is like, yo, that doesn't necessarily have to be you, you know what I mean? Like, yo, you can follow another path, yeah, you yeah. can figure out your own path, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, look, look at Cardi B, Cardi B is, um, I don't know if you heard, she's copywriting the word occur. Oh, yeah? Like, occur! You know, she does that, yeah. occur! Or whatever, she's copywriting that. So that means that every time somebody decides to, to use it, here. Or she wants to use it in a commercial or whatever, she's going to pay her. She explained it. She's like, yo, every time at the at the end of any commercial I do or at the end of anything that I do, they want me to do the okay yeah. or whatever. She copyrighted it because she's like, yo, I'm going to get the bag any way I yeah. can. And and she says something very much like, yo, it's 2019. There's a million ways to get rich. You get me? So, I mean, look, when it comes to parents, I realize that parents, they just want you to have money. Like, most of the time, parents just want you to have the monetary comfort, yeah. success. Meaning... That like yeah, I have enough money to buy a house yeah. and be good with my family, and, and you know. then you don't have physical labor. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know that, that 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 that's what parents mean by like ah, I want you to be you know. Yeah. And then there's other parents that just want you to have a degree or whatever so they can brag about yeah, it later yeah. on. You know what I mean? Because it looks like the the standard of success. It, it's like it, it's also one of those things that's like yo like yeah I came to this country and I raised a kid who got a degree. Yeah. You know, like some parents just want to be able to say that. I think that's selfish on the parent. Yeah. In my opinion, you know I mean I think that that's wrong for the parent to do that. You know I mean I think that it's important. You know, whether you're a parent or not, like, you know, look, let's, let's not get it twisted. There's parents out here that are doing an amazing job. I say, my mom, honestly, I don't see how I can give myself the life that you've given me. I live in Alapada, which is considered the hood in Miami or whatever. But for me, you know, I've never ever in my life felt like I was missing something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was never missing clothes. I was never missing shoes. I was never missing food. I was never, I never heard in my family. Maybe my parents went through financial struggles. I never heard once in my family, oh my God, we can't pay the rent. Or, yeah. oh my God, we can't do this, we can't do that, you get me? Or we can't pay the mortgage. I've never heard that before, mm-hmm. you get me? So I was raised very differently, like, you know, like, versus other people. Maybe other people went through those kind of struggles. Yeah. Maybe other people grew up homeless. Maybe other people grew up house to house, you get me? It's, it's a very different, you know, mm-hmm. same process, and we could have came from the same place. You know, yeah. everybody comes to a different process. You could be rich as hell and living in the hood. Mm-hmm. You can be, you get me? In a different process. But, you know, so, though, my I think my parents did an, an amazing job, a great job, in my opinion, you get me? But then it, it comes back, there's parents here that are still broken. You know I mean? That doesn't mean that my parents didn't fuck up. There's a lot of things that my parents, in my opinion, fucked up. Mm-hmm. And maybe it scarred me. Maybe it didn't. Maybe it showed me something. Whatever. But the point is that, you know, it still it still does something to you. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? There's parents out here who are who are broken themselves. You know what I mean? And who kind of want to live their dreams with their kids. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like, yo, I'm going to push you to do X, Y, and Z. What I couldn't do. What I couldn't do, I want you to do it. And that's not fair for the yeah, kid. You know what I mean? Because maybe that's not what's going to make yeah, it happen. You're, there's you're there's pretty... resentment that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. And look, yeah. At, at, at the end of the day, like you said, man, I think that it comes just, just comes down to people. You know what I mean? Like, look, if I become, if I have $600 million and I throw parties every day, whatever, all of that... It's gonna wash away when at the end of every single night it's like fuck I don't have somebody real. Yeah, with so me. Stick I don't have a real, real group of real. people with me. Get me? Like everybody who came through came yeah. through. They party. They took advantage of whatever mm-hmm. it was and they, and they left. Yeah. I'm a fucking multimillionaire. I can live in any fancy house and all of these fancy things. At least for me, is it has to do with people. Yeah, man. And look, I'll give you a perfect example. And and this is the literally the sad example would be Takashi. Right. Having this, you know, like, quick blow-up of success, making so much money, having so many people around, and then finding out that you have nobody you can trust, you have nobody you can turn to, you know, people that you were talking about closest to betray you. That's when you realize that, are you really successful when you come down to it? You know, now that you are at the bottom, right, you were yeah. struggling, you, you got, you know, uh, you got fiscal issues, you got law issues, you got all kinds of issues, drama, you, got, like... you know, and then it's like, and you realize that instead of having somebody you can lean on, you have everybody mocking you and turning around from you. Like, so, 
I, I don't know. I feel like that is when the saddest thing is you thought you were successful because you had it all. Yeah, yeah. Find out that you really had nothing and no one. Exactly. You get me? Uh, my parents used to always tell me, we may be broke one day, but we will never be alone. And that always motivates me. That That's why I'm like a family rented man. That's why I'm really good. Uh, well, if I find people in my life that are like worth keeping around, I'm making sure that I'm there for them. Whatever yeah. they need, I'm there for them. Because I realize that I'd rather be hungry and not alone mm-hmm. than be stuffed and be alone. Yeah. You know? I'd rather share bread with somebody than have a full meal by myself. Right. And, you know, and, and again, this goes both ways. You know, you may look at it like, ah, oh, whatever, you guys are a bunch of broke boys. That's what you're talking. <laughs> That's what you're saying that, right? Because, like, like Floyd Mayweather had a, an interview in Hollywood Unlocked saying, um, I'd rather be, um, I think he, I think it was somewhere along the lines of, I'd rather be um, rich and alone than poor and have people. Uh, something along the I might be wrong. You know, I might be misquoting him heavy. But the premise of his argument was that, you know, at least, you know, when I'm rich, I could eat some food. I could have something to eat. I could have something. You mm-hmm. get me? Like, you know, if I'm broke, then I don't I don't have anything. I'm in the street. And I think that it was, like, two extremes. Like, his, yeah. like I, I guess for him, broke was, like, Alone. homeless. Like, yeah. 100%, like, zero income. I'm asking for money in the street. You know, like, when I say broke, I'm talking about just, like, you know, like for example, like, me, I consider myself broke. Like, you know, I, I, I have a job. You know what I mean? I make money. I have income. You know what I mean? But I consider myself, I would consider myself broke just due to my own standards yeah, of, of you living. Think, yeah. You know what I mean? Because other people, I may have a lot of money. Other people are like, nah, but you got yeah, you money, bread, you're yeah. rich, whatever. You know what I mean? It's just to my own yeah. standards. You know what I mean? And when I say broke, I'm not talking about like completely like I, I have zero income. I I live in the street, like in the corner, mm-hmm. I ask for money in the street. That's like, you know, I'm not, that's, that's something I'm not talking about. You know what I mean? That's another systemic mm-hmm. problem that we may yeah, have. Yeah, you know? But you know what? Um, it, it just goes hand in hand, you know, yeah. like, I mean, it, it all depends on what it is that you want out of life. That, that's really what it comes down to. If you're somebody who wants to be rich and you don't care about nobody, you just want to have money, then okay, whatever. I'm not going to go ahead and say that's what you should do because I personally feel like that's not what's going to make you happy. But you could be like, oh, but you're broke as fuck. You don't know what it is to have money. and You don't know what you're talking about anyways. And that's fine. You're uh, completely not to your opinion. And again, we we've talked some reckless shit on this on this okay. channel. You get me? Talked about some shit that you might disagree with, and I have hard you know convictions about. And that's absolutely okay. You have you know a hundred percent. You know what I mean? That that right. You know yeah. what I'm saying to to that opinion. You get me? I'm just saying that I guess like you know from from you know just coming up in this world and learning the more and more that I live, I've realized that. You know, it's really about the people. You know what I mean? Yo, honestly, if I've had a penthouse and I've had millions of dollars and I had a dope ass car and I had no friends, all I could really do if I wanted to have fun is like go to a club yeah. and like pop so bottles. In a social a, setting. Exactly. To be in a social setting and be like, yo, fuck it, bottles for everybody. And hope that, you know, people are like, ah, you know, fuck with them. And then when at, at the end of the day, I'm going to end up going home and be by myself and have like nobody to even chill with mm-hmm. during the day. You get know I me? Mean? Like type shit. So, it's, so it really just comes down to like, you know, is is you. You need to figure out what it is that you want out of life. Yeah. Like, and you were talking about it today, that which made me think like so much. Like, it's so true. You need to define what success or what happiness or whatever that is. You need to define it first before you can decide this is what I'm gonna yeah, pursue. Exactly. Before you try to pursue the money, the Lamborghinis, the houses, you need to define what it is that's happiness for you, not for people. Yeah. Not, 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 not what is like you know success to society or what's happening to society because in society like you were saying you know it's the fine girl next to you the nice car the dope ass house and the and the dope ass yearly salary you know what I mean that's what's success to most people you know what I mean but you need to define what it is for you and maybe for you is a family mm-hmm. maybe it's having money so you can travel maybe for you is having a dope ass car or whatever mm-hmm. house maybe for you is having a dope house a dope car whatever it is for you. You need to define that first and then chase it. But understand that it's for the right reasons. Mm-hmm. It's not for, oh, I'm trying to impress not people. Not for validation. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Not for validation. Because a lot of us are doing too much for validation. Mm-hmm. It ain't mm-hmm. worth it. Exactly. We're not even that impressive, bro. No one is. Like, no person is so impressive that you live out your life for them. And, and at the end of the day, you know, really, it's, it's moments. For example, look, I can go to a mall and I can see somebody in Gucci up, right? And... For the most part, nowadays, if I see you all, all the way Gucci up, me personally, I'm ignoring you. Like, okay, whatever. You know, like, it's, it's like a norm now. If you're fresh, I'm going to take my time to say, damn, like, you're fresh, whatever, cool. But that's, it's all, it's all of these just moments. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're all moments. Yo, look, you could be like the lame, you could be Larry from the office who's lame and get the finest girl in the universe, whatever, because you're a freaking funny guy, right? Mm-hmm. And you can be Chuck or Double D or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck your little nickname is from down the block and you got all the gear and you're the coolest guy in the fucking universe 
but it doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, you know I mean, because at the end of the day, like, if you're looking for validation for other people, you don't care about what you yeah. think about yourself. Then you're never gonna truly know who you are. You're never gonna truly like make mm-hmm. the real success, which is you. You know what I mean? Like everything at the end of the day is about you being comfortable in your own skin. You know what I mean? At the end of this day, like it, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? And whether you're gonna like go ahead and like pursue your own spiritual goals and your own mental goals and all of that stuff, that's that's all all up to you. But I think that you know, like for this channel, for what we're trying to push, is gonna be just to motivate you. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Look, you got the Gary V's of the world, right? You have the Dave Ramsey's of the world. You have all these big ass, you know, T D Jakes and all these like yeah. dope ass speakers who have their platform and probably you heard them. You know, for me I always think about I'm down as like this thing of like, you know, we're still regular people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you're getting one side of people who are already rich. Mm-hmm. And they came from struggle and all of that stuff and they became big. You know what I mean? And you want to listen to them and I completely understand that. You know what I mean? And you're getting another side of people who are just trying your to come average, up. You have your yeah. average, everyday guys trying to come up. If that, if you want to say that, whatever. And it's just giving you that word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't mean that you need to get to the top to have that kind of mentality. You can have that mentality right now when you're at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Already, you know what I mean? It's better. Exactly. And, you know, so whether you listen right now when we pose this or you listen 10 years later when we're popping or 15 or 20 years later when we're really, really popping or whatever. Or maybe not. Who knows, right? But, you know, the whole point is to just cause that kind of impact yeah, of or that course. kind of thought process. Because you just don't know. Realistically... Yeah, we just want to steer a reaction. Exactly. And, you know, maybe you affect somebody by listening to this and you talk about it and you tell somebody about it and you just affect and you create a chain reaction. Mm-hmm. You know, it, and this is not about props. This is not about subscribers or followers or views or none of that stuff. It's just about a chain reaction. I tell you something and that impacts you. you and yeah. now you tell somebody else and it causes... You know I mean? It, it causes, develops into a big ball. You know, a snowball. Exactly. So, Change. you know, that's all this is. So, you know, we, we really urge you, you know, to really look at your life and the things that you're pursuing, do you have to pursue those things? You know what I mean? Do you really want to pursue those things? You know, are they essential to you? Mm-hmm. Or are you just, like, doing it because it's it, it's the right thing to do? It's, it's you know, it's what's going to set you up for when you go to high school reunion. Everybody's going to be like, wow, mm-hmm. you're so successful now. You know what I mean? So, you have to really, you know, come to yourself and think about those kind yep. of things, right? You know, so we urge you to look at your life, look at what you're doing, what it is that you want to pursue, and then go ahead and pursue. Yeah. Define and pursue. Define and pursue. Which you could have said it better, bro. It's just like a, a good ass setup, you know, for that. Because it literally, you need to define it and then pursue it. You got anything else to say? When it's all said and done, it's going to be your life. What do you want it to say? Exactly. Once again, guys, thank you. We're beyond humbled for. The one viewer who's watching this, the two or the three or the nine or whatever, or if you're listening on this on the podcast, whether you're on iTunes, Spotify, we thank you guys. We appreciate you guys. Until next time, peace.